So uh, here we have a, a function that is rendering the um, list of users, right, in this way. So it's rendering Alice, Dan, Frank, and Ed, and they're being maintained in an array. What we'd like to be able to do is that we, we would like to be able to dynamically right, add to the array. Right? And whenever we add a brand new user, then call the render users function with a brand new uh, array, right, with a new object added to that array. Yes? So let's do that. Let's uh, add a, uh, a button. Uh, and then listen in for uh, the uh, and handle the event of clicking on that button. So let's go to our HTML and add a button. So maybe let's add a button up here. It says button uh, create user, uh, and we'll give it an ID of create uh, create user. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is that um, we're going to bind to that button. So there's our there's our button to create create user, uh, and uh, and from our our JavaScript, uh, we're going to grab that button. We're going to say um, <coughs> create user button. Uh, we're going to grab using the ID create create user. There it is. We, so we bound it. We have it, uh, and and now we need to bind an event handler. I'm going to say that if the button is, cl is clicked, we want to do something, right? Add a brand new user. Um, and, and to do that, we have a function just for that. You can say create button dot click. Click uh, is, uh, behaves uh, two different ways. Uh, if you call click all by itself, uh, you can simulate the click of a button. Uh, so you can programmatically click a button, right? A button that already exists there. So that this would click that button. Uh, or if you provide an argument, if you provide an argument, uh, it, uh, for instance, you can declare a function. Uh, in that function, you can it, it'll be treated as a callback. Uh, that way, you can handle that function, that 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 event. Right. Uh, so here, for instance, we might do alert, alert, and say uh, create user. Okay. So if we refresh and click on create user, notice that indeed it pops up saying create user. What could we do in here? Uh, well, we could do a couple of things. We could we could add a, a new user to the array, right, and then render that array. Uh, before we do that, uh, notice that uh, uh, this is a this is a uh, a lambda function, right? Very much like in Java, right? you you can declare a function that presumably uh, no one's going to use, right? It's a, it's only going to be used here. It's a throwaway function, right? So there's no, presumably we don't need to even give it a name, right? So usually refer to as lambdas. Same thing here. You, this is a lambda function. Uh, a, a, you, we can use the, uh, the new syntax here, right? The new syntax is that uh, it's just a, uh, uh, you don't need the function keyword. Uh, it's parentheses and then the arrow, right? This is exactly the same thing, right? But notice how much more terse uh, abbreviated the uh, this is okay, and this behaves exactly the same way. Right? So create user and works the same way. <laughs> so what could we do here? We could maybe what we could do is add a brand new user, right? What the, we could we could take the uh, users array, right, and we could push a brand new object. We can push a brand new object. Uh, we could create the object right here. Uh, const new user, right? Where the username is maybe new user, okay? Uh, and then push that new user into the array, right? Once we've pushed the uh, user into the array, we can then call the function that we already have that re-renders the array, right? We can say uh, render users which is going to just iterate over that array and just you know uh, remove all, all, all the content and re-render it from scratch. Yes? Uh, so let's do that. So let's uh, refresh and click on create user and notice that we have new user, new user, new user. Everybody good? All right. Uh, now, it might be that uh, this function, maybe you want to reuse it, right? And you don't want it to be an anonymous function, right? You can, you can you know, certainly do that. You can, you can instead, Declare a function. We can say const um, uh, create a user uh, as a function, right? And and then in here we can uh, we can grab this, 
right? We can grab this uh, implementation and just copy it here, right? And, and then instead of this, uh, uh, instead of having this anonymous function, we can just give it a reference to this function, like that, right? It says, uh, you know, call that function, right? Notice that we're not going to put the parentheses here. If we put the parentheses here, it would invoke immediately. Right? Instead, what we're doing is say, says, no, no, if you have a reference to it, call this function at some point later. All right, so careful, if you do that, the, the, uh, the, the function will be invoked right away and then never again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this clicks the button. Uh, so this just this just creates the bind, right? It says it, it declares an on click on that button, uh, and then and then and it wraps the function instead of another function, right? As a, in the closure, it's called in the closure, and then uh, it, this postpones the invocation to a later date when you actually click on it. Yeah, yeah, we'll see closures in a minute. Uh, so yeah, so create user and uh, and and and, th and this this uh, difference, um, we'll see it again. Uh, the way React declares functions and callbacks, and the way Angular declares uh, uh, callbacks, because in Angular you do have to put the parentheses, right? So, so uh, we'll we'll have to re re, uh, re redefine these things depending on the context. Uh, in jQuery, it's just a reference. All right. Uh, so if we go back and refresh, let's see if this still works. All right, still works. All right. Everybody good? Everybody with me? All right. Awesome.